Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. This is a video I've been waiting a very long time to make, um, and I am super excited to finally be making it. Uh, this is our first trucking vlog. Um, obviously, I am very much not in a truck at the moment, um, but that is because we are on our way to get my truck. So. I am super excited. I'm sure everybody's probably, this guy in front of me even is like looking in the mirror. It's like, what the hell is on this guy's head? I've got my GoPro on my hat. It probably looks super funky to every single person around me, but you know what? The footage that comes out of it is pretty sick. So this is probably what we're gonna be doing for most of our trucking vlogs. And yeah, I just, I cannot explain enough how excited I am for today. Once I am at my truck and getting into my truck and everything, I'll show you the truck and kind of what we're hoping to accomplish today. Wow, that sun is bright. I also might do some audio tests on the way there. Um, I, I basically, I've had this GoPro for a while, but I really hardly ever used it. So I got a bunch of new stuff like the hat clip, for example, and a, like a, a muff to put around the GoPro to hopefully make the audio sound not so wind noisy when I've like got the windows down and stuff like that or when I'm outside and it's super windy. Um, so I guess we'll kind of have to see how that sounds. So I guess we'll do our first test now that I'm getting onto the freeway and uh, well hopefully it doesn't sound too awful. Hopefully you can still hear me um, but most of all hopefully the wind noise is not like super super awful. Um, I guess also this will give me an idea for how loud I need to talk when I'm, you know, when I've got the windows down. So, again, hopefully this will be a good test and will help me figure stuff out. But I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you guys at the truck yard. Dude, okay. I just pulled up that clip um, that I recorded, obviously right before this, uh, just to see how the audio was. And that is insane. There's literally no wind noise at all. I got to tell you, it sounded very very loud inside the car um, and I genuinely thought that you guys like wouldn't be able to hear me and it sounded like exactly the same as it was before the windows were down and I'm super impressed but anyways updating you guys on the truck situation I just finished getting my truck all checked out noting all the damage and whatever kind of stuff there was there wasn't a bunch it was basically just like a there was like a scratch or a you know paint chip up above the driver's side headlight but aside from that the truck was in really good shape I will admit the inside not ideal <laughs> uh, it smells kind of like a motel bedroom from a motel that allows smoking which kind of makes sense almost every single person I've met here so far smoke cigarettes I personally am not a big fan of that but you know what teach their own um, we'll get the truck cleaned up make sure it smells all nice and hopefully I can get that smell out of there but I guess we'll have to see either that or I guess I'll get used to it but whatever Either way, I'm really excited. I'm gonna show you guys the truck right now. Let's go check it out. Oh, whoops, sorry, one more thing. So sorry. Uh, it is pouring rain. Um, it has literally, it is it like fall just started a few days ago. Um, and it has been sunny and like 70 degrees every single day for the last like week. And even before that it was sunny and like 80 or 90 degrees, which I don't know which I would prefer more, probably that, just so that all my stuff is not getting soaking wet as I'm putting it in the truck. But Either way, of course, the day that I'm loading up, it decides it's gonna pour rain all day. So here she is, obviously, again, it is pouring rain, so I don't wanna make my muff for my GoPro all gross, but I wanted you guys to see the outside of the truck. It is dirty. Uh, definitely gonna be needing a truck wash at some point. We get one a month, so um, yeah, hopefully I can get that done soon, but this is what we're looking at. Got the super singles. I know there's a lot of people that aren't a huge fan of those. I, I just don't really like the look of them, but aside from that, I don't have any any corals with that. Um, oh, I uh, one thing before I get into the truck, I gotta point out this. The fact that that does not fit in here on either end pisses me off, but you know, can't complain too much, I guess. I mean, that's such a small issue, obviously. I, I'm, I'm just being dramatic. I'm not actually that upset about this, but it does bother me that that doesn't fit on there. And I, now I'm sharing all that with you guys, so. Enjoy that pain as well if you have like OCD or something. All right, let's get into the truck and start loading stuff up. Okay, I've got the first 
car full of stuff, which my car is tiny, so that's not a lot. Obviously food had to be first, because food's always most important. Um, I also discovered that this little window does not have a cover, and it's supposed to, it's supposed to look like that. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna care about that. I don't know, like my back's gonna be to that window, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll actually care or not. I also discovered there is no uh, TV mount, which the trucks were supposed to have a TV mount, so I, again, probably don't really care that much. The driver, one of the driver mentors that I was with just for a little bit, he just kept his TV like free and would just like lay it at the end of his bed, you know, when he wanted to use it. I might just do the same, to be honest. So I'm not really concerned about that because if I did wait for them to like put it in here, then yeah, that's like another few days probably before I would actually get to head out. And I want to get out on the road as soon as possible. So, um, also, I've got this Netrodyne driver eye camera thing. I had those at Amazon and they were really annoying, but I didn't really care too much because then I'm covered, but I also have my own dash cam. So, I don't know. I've, I've got a lot to ramble about, I guess. But yeah, all this stuff's in here. So now it is time to start putting it into various compartments. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and head home after that. And then probably just start packing up other stuff and then probably won't be coming back again until tonight. And I'll be bringing Al, my wife, with me. I guess that's that's where we're going from here. Also, not gonna be any actual trucking in this video probably. It's basically just gonna be setting up my truck, but I had to start somewhere, you know, like with the, the trucking vlogs and everything. Obviously, it's gonna be a long-term series. Basically, my plan is record during the day and then edit when I'm, you know, hanging out in my sleeper berth or whatever, waiting for my, my clocks to come back, so. That is the plan, obviously, who knows what's actually gonna happen. Anyone that's been following this channel for a while knows that uh, my priority is always my own mental health, and obviously I don't do YouTube to stress me out. I do it because I have fun doing it, and when it gets to the point where it is no longer fun, I take a break, you know? So, I mean, even this video, I think before uploading this video, there's like a two month gap. So I only mention these things because again, I, I'm doing something new. So I'm hoping that there'll be new people watching, but if not, obviously that's okay. Again, this video is a lot of rambling. So sorry that I continue to ramble, but I hope you guys are excited for this series like I am. Um, yeah, this is this is literally a dream come true. I know I've probably already said it in the video. And again, I know this video is just a bunch of talking, but I genuinely, have been waiting like my whole life for this. So I'm super excited. I know it's not gonna be all sunshine and rainbows. I know that this is gonna suck. I know these first probably couple weeks are gonna be pretty stressful, maybe even a couple months, who knows. But uh, I'm excited that you guys will get to ride along with me and go through all those ups and downs with me. And that's kind of the whole point of me vlogging it is I, I wanna share it with you guys. I want everybody to be involved, you know. I think that is now enough rambling. Uh, thank you guys for watching and let's go ahead and, and continue on this video. All right, we're activating hat cam time. Hopefully it looks good, and if it doesn't, I guess I'll figure it out when it's too late, unfortunately. But first thing I wanna do is get the food put away, because obviously there's a ton of it. Yeah, I guess I gotta figure out which compartments I want what to be in. Um, also, what stuff is gonna stay in bags and what's gonna, I mean, in boxes and what's gonna be loose. That box apparently is not in very good shape, so those are probably not going to stay in there, um, which is kind of unfortunate. kind of don't know what to do here, because I don't... I guess maybe my wife was right, and I should have gotten some storage bins from her. Well, I mean, I can always move things around as I need to later. I honestly don't have a ton of stuff. I mean, I'm going to build up stuff as we go along, but to start, like for this first trip, because I don't know for sure what I need, I don't have a ton of stuff, so honestly, maybe I'll just take all those and just put them all in there. Only thing is that every time I open that, those are probably going to fall out, but I don't know. I guess let's give it a shot. Well, I don't actually, that box is not, if I just put the box in there like this, you know, that could work. Oh man, it doesn't fit. Dang it. Well, it'll probably fit in this one. It only doesn't fit because there's a little a little ledge here, as I'm sure you can hopefully see. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll just do one of these. And uh, again, those will kind of spill out of there on their own probably. Oh, oh boy, as they spill out on their own. Okay, good enough for now. These are definitely, this box is definitely too big. 
Um, I also am not taking all these. I'm keeping, I, I don't want the spicy queso. Sorry for anyone that likes those ones, but I do not. So this one I'll probably open, put all those in there. Man, I got a lot of snacks. I mean, that's good. Obviously I want a lot of snacks, but I don't have a lot of room. <laughs> Let's, I guess we'll do like, we'll put like semi healthy stuff all in the same compartment. So this stuff will go up here. Um, for now, I'm not gonna worry about getting those open. We're just gonna shove them in there and then we'll figure out how we want them to be opened later. Okay, there's that. Empty box. Um, Mandarin oranges. How are these packed in here? I'm assuming they're like all in their individual containers. Will this fit? Absolutely it will. Let's go. Um, snack olives. I, okay, I know I'm gonna get judged for that one, but hey, I, I like olives. I don't know. What can I say? I've always liked olives. Can the applesauce just go on top of this stuff? Oh, yes, it can. Look at that. I'm a pro already. Boom. All right chips and stuff i don't i i guess i can do those in the one adjacent i don't see any problem with that again i don't think i think these boxes are probably too big to fit on their own sort of yeah absolutely okay so i'll have to get that opened same with that stuff man i don't know because if i open up all these and then just dump them in here then every time I open this, all those bags of chips are just going to fall out. I don't think that's super ideal. I guess I could put them in here. Yeah, screw it. Let's do that. Boom. Although, I still don't think this one will fit. <laughs> oh, it will. Okay, we're good. Um, all right, let me go ahead and get this one open. And then get the, the spicy queso disgustingness out of here. Again, sorry if you like them, but I think they're horrendous, so. Oh God, this tape is terrible. Dude, look at that. They put them all right on the top for me because they knew that I wouldn't like them and I'd want to get rid of them. So they were like, hey, let's make this nice and easy for you. Bye bye. All right, cool. Got those out of the way. Close that up, and then we can throw this booty up on top of that. Boom. Veggie straws. Boom. I already know that when I get Al later and she comes in here, she's gonna see all this stuff and have a heart attack. I feel proud of this right now, and I want to, oh Jesus, sorry guys, I just smacked you onto the cabinet. Um, I'm feeling great about this and I want to ride that high while I can because I know she's going to come in here and destroy it because she is significantly better at organizing than I am and she has OCD. So, um, yeah, that's probably not going to work out well for me when she gets in here. This does not fit. Okay. Dude. I feel kind of weird that I'm filling up all of my drawers with food, but like, come on, what else am I gonna fill it with, right? I guess probably lots of other things, but for now, it's all getting filled up with food. I also feel kind of weird about the fact that I'm putting popcorn in here right now, and I don't even own a microwave that is for this truck yet, but that's fine. We're gonna probably do that later today, so we're all good. Cereal? Mm, no, maybe? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, love this, love this. Okay, random miscellaneous things. Let's see, what was this again? I think this is my headphones. Yes, headphones, sick. Don't know where I'm gonna put those, but we'll figure that out. Um. And then, what is that? Mouthwash, Tide stuff, and some stick for something. Okay, well, that's all small stuff I can just put anywhere for now, and then we can figure that out later. All right, I think that's it for the first... Oh, shoot, I have all this stuff. Yeah, I'll try that. 
Yeah, I think I'll try and see if those can go in there. All right, let's do it. Okay, success. Uh, I think that's it for now. I also now have a temporary trash can until we get the actual trash can in here. Again, we're taking a second trip. I've got a lot of stuff that I still need to bring in. Um, so I'm gonna make a list of those things now. This is all going back. That stuff's gonna have to be somewhere in the truck. I'll probably just like put it in one of these cubbies or something. Um, those are also both stuff that will just need to be separated out throughout the truck, but I wanted to just get the main stuff in here and put away for now. And then again, all the little stuff that is like in those bags and papers and stuff like that, that can all be handled later. Okay, you guys are not gonna believe this. So I was given this box this morning by my wife. She said, take this with you, right? I didn't look into it. I just, she said, take it. I was like, okay, cool, right? Um, well, let me tell you guys something. After seven years, Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to get it out of here with one hand. And of course I, oh, I guess, well, that's the whole reason for the hat clip, right? Okay, anyways, um, yeah, do you think after seven years that, uh, that she knows me pretty well? Look at that, storage containers. Literally, I was just saying, man, I really should have taken those, but I told her no. Well, guess what? She knows, she knows me very, very well. And she packed them in here anyway. And I don't know if they're, oh, whoops, wrong one. I don't know if they're gonna fit in here, but, uh, I mean, I guess I can make them fit. I can do it sideways or whatever. Either way though, look at that. She knows me so well. So now I have somewhere for all of these fruit snack things to... I'm a pro. Anyways, I have somewhere for all these fruit snack things to go um, so that they're not just dumping out like that and falling onto the floor because normally there will not be a me holding these holding a storage container underneath the thing so that when they fall out, I can catch them. Anyways, let's go ahead and get that figured out. And then I will head home, finally. I have acquired... Lay wife. Wife. We are now heading to clean the truck. Okay, we have arrived back at the truck. Um, I accidentally left the dome lights on, so I'm starting the truck and letting it run to hopefully uh, charge up the battery a little bit. I don't even know if I know how to check what the battery voltage is at. Oh, it's at 14.1. Okay, so it was actually fine, but either way, we'll let the engine run for a little bit, um, and we're gonna start taking stuff from the car and loading it in. I said we were gonna clean tonight, but we changed our minds. We're gonna clean tomorrow, because it's already like almost nine something, I think. Um, and we both like to, I don't know why I was still pointing at the truck. We both like to go to bed early, so. All right. I think we're about done for the night. We've got the microwave in place. Al did everything, of course, and is struggling with this situation. Anyways, my, uh, microwave's in place. She made the bed. Um, as expected, she opened up every single one of these drawers and all of these things and had a heart attack and said that the first thing that we're doing tomorrow when we come back here is that she's gonna reorganize everything. I provided you multiple options and you chose one of said options. Okay, but uh, you have to admit, the one that I did pick is pretty well used. Was out of necessity, not okay. correctness. But still, I, I did use it, and I, I did give you a shout out. I was very thankful that you gave that to me. I don't know if it negates the negative shout out you gave me. But I forgive you. <laughs> All right, that is it for today but we will see you guys in the morning. It is now a new day, obviously, because it is not dark. Um, we are going to the storage unit to drop off some stuff and possibly, actually not possibly, definitely pick up some stuff that's gonna be for the truck. And, uh, and then we've got stuff back here that, yeah, all that's going either to storage or to the truck, so. This is like all the worst parts of moving without actually moving. <laughs> exactly. I'm moving to a temporary location, which is not ideal, but... Without me. It really does feel <laughs> like when you move your dad into their new apartment after your mom and dad split up. <laughs> not that I've personally experienced that, but you can imagine yeah, what it would feel like. Definitely. But yeah, let's go ahead and get it started because I think we still have yet another kind of long day ahead of us because we also still have to clean the truck. Not, not gonna be fun.
And we still have to get my crying session in today. Yeah. Haven't gotten that yet. Yeah. Lots of tears are going to flow today and tomorrow. And you have to feed me. And I have to feed you. Which and get a Dutch. In, which, in that Large case, Dutch. depending on when you feed me, there may or may not be multiple More tears, crying yeah. sessions today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then, let's, let's get the misery and or fun and or both started. Ooh, that was a lot of hard work. <laughs> we have shed some weight, and by that, I mean... The car has shed some weight, and it was all me that did all the shedding, uh, I guess. Yeah, I didn't that, do anything. Is that a good way of wording it, I think? Yeah, you put in the labor. Yeah. You pushed through and the so, labor. And so, as a reward to me for doing all the work, we're going to go get Al some Dutch and Taco Bell. Yeah. For Al. Yeah. Not for me. No. As my reward. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love you. Okay, but in all seriousness... Al is probably going to do all of the cleaning in the truck, yep. so it balances out. It yep. makes sense. Yep. <laughs> and that's why I didn't do anything. <laughs> I would say that that's fair. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we came in here and just started jamming on getting this truck all cleaned up. Um, I wish I would have shown you guys just how disgusting some of the Clorox wipes were, but we wiped down the dash, the door. I mean, we, we wiped down literally every single thing in this truck. Um, and of course, Al, as expected, went through and uh, reorganized everything and did a fantastic job, made the, the best of what we've got, cut open the boxes and made them actually useful. Um, great job. <laughs> uh, I, all the while that she was doing that, um, I made myself also super, 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 super useful and spent like an hour uh, figuring out how to make my dash cam wiring not look absolutely hideous. So um, we got the dash cam here, front and backward facing cameras. Uh, and then I ran the wires down all the way around up through here. And then this is the only spot that I'm still not happy about, but you know what? I was originally planning to use duct tape. And honestly, I feel like this is uh, better babe? than- Yes? What's this? Did you not know that was there? <laughs> no. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> oh, and it goes to the outside. Oh, dude, that's sick. I can get to the outside compartment from the inside, too. Oh, my God, the outside is in the inside. <laughs> we brought dude, the outside crazy. in. Oh, my God, that'll be perfect for the drinks and stuff. Oh, my God, I wonder if I can fit in there. I mean, I don't want to find out. I don't want to find out. <laughs> Because I'm scared you won't let me out. <laughs> yeah, that that's like a, anyone with claustrophobia, that's your worst nightmare. But that's sick as heck. Oh, if someone, I did not know. If, so, if, you see, if you hear someone breaking in, that's a really good hiding spot. True. Dude, well, I had no idea that was there. I don't think any of the other people have, like, nobody's mentioned that. Even the mentors that I was with, none of them said anything about the storage underneath. Okay, update, you can't open it from inside. So don't trap yourself don't, in there. Don't, okay. Unless good you have know. someone here to help you out. Well, um, now you don't have to have all this floor clutter. Sick. And you can hide a dead body. If you needed to for any reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but seriously, obviously not hiding any dead bodies in there. That You're is sick that I can water. put all my water in there. And I'd like everything else. I mean, dude, that's so much room. That's crazy. Why did nobody tell me about this? Hello? Well, I'm glad you came with me. See, I'm useful for something. <laughs> Everything. Everything, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today. All that stuff's going back to the house. Uh, we put some towels and stuff, like hand towels up there. Towels and probably all my clothes, once I bring those, are gonna go up there. And then Al is here. But won't be here. Oh. I'll be home. But we're gonna pretend that you will be, because I wish you were there. You're leaving me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, right in the abandonment issues. <laughs> Anyways, though, that's it for today. All right, last day of setting stuff up. We got the fridge, the mini fridge, and then brought in the rest of the stuff. Uh, we also were gonna try and get some Wi-Fi set up. Not having a great time with that. And then I was gonna get my CO2 de detector set up, and I kept. As I was trying to put the, like, command strips on it, um, I literally have, like, the backing taken off of it right now because that was how I ended up doing it because I was getting so upset. 
um, as I would flip it over and try and put the command strips on the back of it like this, I would press the test button and then it would start beeping super loud and it was really annoying and I did that probably like six times and it just got to the point where I was so pissed off. I said screw it. So I just took the back off of it, letting the command strips set for a bit and then tomorrow morning when I get into the truck I'll just actually put this up there. But um, that's all set up and then yeah like I said got the rest of my stuff. Uh, this will all be dealt with tomorrow. It, it is late. We got here much later than than, than we had planned to and uh, I need to get to bed soon in order to be fully rested for tomorrow. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna worry about all this stuff next time, I guess. But either way, maybe not ending on the most positive note, but that's okay. Either way, I still had a ton of fun, ton of fun making this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, again, I'm really excited for this journey. Hope you guys are excited for it as well. And hope you guys enjoy all the trucking vlogs that are about to come your way. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. Peace.